so I'm really tired about what people consider librarian, the profession these days. They get a lot wrong. Um, we're going to talk about my five favorite. This is going to be a lot of esoteric nonsense for a lot of you, unless you've seen these shows and movies, and I apologize. This is the stereotype that most people still think. As you can see, I only fit like four or five of these. Um, the well-read one is the lie. Um, librarians don't read a lot. We don't have time. We're busy reading reviews and ordering things and meeting with people in the community. Um, these are the little librarians we're going to talk about. Um, does anybody have a favorite librarian that they see here? Okay. The guy from Buffy's the worst librarian. We're, we're, we're going we're gonna to throw some shade at him later. Um, we have a ranking scale. Dolly Parton donated 100 million books to kids. She just donated, donated her 100 millionth. She's my hero, the only living saint. Fact. So we're going to rate our librarians between one and five Dolly Partons. Um, all right, let's begin. Marion Peru. Marion, the librarian. Lover of the flim flam man, Harold Hill. Such a bastard. Anyway, she also teaches piano, like you do. I also teach violin and edit on the side because I just found out my salary is $20,000 less than the average. Um, Marion as a librarian, she does some amazing things, but what really bugs me and what really bugs a lot of librarians is that people think that you, if you read a lot, and especially if you're a woman, you're stuck up, and she really sticks it to them by destroying library, library property to uh, save a man. Um, but she fights for intellectual freedom, she's against censorship, she knows what fake news is. She gets four Dolly Pardons, even though she sort of invented the stereotype of what libraries are, if people actually watch the movie, she subverts it at every stage. Um, Party Girl, has anybody seen Party Girl? Cult classic from the 90s, Parker Posey, what a hero. Um, she just sort of does the reverse, marrying the librarian. She throws a rave, gets arrested for dealing, um, and then has to become a librarian to pay off the fine. I don't know how that math works for the funding. Um, she's known for having sex and destroying a bunch of library books, so she gets fired. But she learns how the Dewey Decimal System works, and so everybody is sort of okay with it at the end. Um, the Dewey Decimal System, by the way, is really sexist, uh, really anti-Semitic, and I will happily go into details about that later. She gets two and a half Dolly Pardons. Um, the first thing is so true. If you go to the library and put books willy-nilly wherever you want, stop it. <laughs> All right, break some hearts here. Terrible, terrible librarian. He's a hero of mine. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is the show you watch in college when you're really sad and have no friends, and so I watched all of it in two weeks. Um, and Giles was a hero of mine until I went to library school and realized he did everything wrong. Um, great researcher, sometimes. Hates new technology. Now this is a bugaboo. Um, technology is really important and being able to facilitate that sort of knowledge gathering is essential these days. He gets two Dolly Pardons, the worst one of them all. Um, it's really depressing. But if you do have like vampire questions or something about the occult, I mean, he's your dude. Um, he would make a great professor, but he does not facilitate access nor instruction, which is really paramount to what a librarian is. Tammy Swanson. Oh, Tammy Swanson. Let's just ruminate on Tammy Swanson. Parks and Rec is a great show if you haven't seen it. When I think about what I can do better, I always think about Parks and Rec and thinking that we are the Pawnee to Lennox's Eagleton. <laughs> and we're clearly better. Um, Pittsfield proud. I also came from Nashville, so this is a huge transition for me. Um, what I really love about Tammy is that she works the floor. 
and when you're a library manager, you have a lot of like administrative stuff to do. When you're a supervisor, you have a lot of administrative stuff to do, but like getting to know your community, meeting people one-on-one -on -one is essential to being able to provide the best services possible. She gets three and a half Dolly Pardons. The, the thing about telling people what people checked out is a big no-no. Don't do that. Mrs. Phelps, Matilda is the reason I went to library school. It was November 1st, I remember this. I was working at Dillard's department store selling ladies' shoes for the fifth or sixth month, um, going to the bar every night because it's not a healthy profession. Um, and I saw Matilda and I saw how much care and passion she brought to the position, how it was community focused, how she inspired somebody who didn't have a lot to go out and try to make more of herself. She's the real hero. Miss Honey has nothing on Mrs. Phelps. Top prize. She gets five. Um, if you see here, this is what librarians look like according to the book. Um, they try to get the most diverse group, but unfortunately the profession is still pretty uh, monochromatic and homogenous. It's, it's pretty still female driven. They're doing a lot of work to try to better outreach. Um, and they're moving in the right direction. Anyways, get a library card, give the library more funding. Thank you very much.